Hello there Scorpios, welcome to your mid-March 2019 tarot reading. So um, I have two images that came out for you when I was meditating on this uh, month's reading. And the first thing that I saw, it's, um, it's kind of, it's beautiful, but it's kind of sad. Um, so I see this hen, okay, she's a brown hen, and you know, hens are female chickens, and uh, she's got like her, her little chicks, her babies, they're, they're scattered around the garden digging for worms or whatever chickens do. Um, it starts raining, so it starts raining at first, it's a drizzle, and then it starts raining really hard, and she's outside in the elements, and she starts clucking, like she starts calling for her babies. And then her babies, I think there are like five of them, they swarm towards her and she opens up her wings, they get under her. She blocks them from the rain, but then again, she's getting battered by the rain, okay? So that's the first thing that I saw. And um, this image is very, very Leo-like and very Scorpio-like because you would go to the end of the earth to protect the people that you love. And especially if they're your children, especially if they're vulnerable, okay? Like you would go above and beyond, give the shirt off your back for the people that you love. And so I feel like it's a very appropriate uh, image um, for oftentimes a Leo reading or a Scorpio reading. What I'm feeling though is uh, there is a situation here where... Um, I, I can't say like, you know, you got to put yourself first. It, that's not really the, the message I was getting. What I'm really, really getting is I just feel like you're standing really strong and tall and proud. And you're kind of like the person that um, fights for the underdog or you're the, the protector in a specific environment. With your presence in the picture, it seems almost as if things go right when you're there. Okay. People count on you to do a lot of things and you do them and you do them correctly and you do them the right way. And I also feel like people um, get in the habit a lot of the times of taking advantage of it, okay? Like they take it for granted and they always feel like, you know, oh, when hard times rolls around, I can always count on that Scorpio. And that can be family members, that can be friends, that can be love relationship partners, that can be the people in your life overall. And especially um, people, if you're in some type of a supervisory managerial position, it could be people that you're managing, people that you're working under. When you're out of the picture, things are very, very chaotic. You know, things don't go right or, or people aren't where they're supposed to be. And people, it, it's just the environment is very disorderly. So if you even find yourself taking a vacation and then when you go back to the office, you're just going to be like, what happened? It seems like a war zone. It looks like a tornado went through this office. People aren't where they're supposed to be. Work is not getting done. People are not thorough when it comes to doing their job. Like, what happened? So I feel like your presence or lack of your presence is very heavily felt in your environment, okay? It, you, lack of your presence or just the, the absence of your presence, that your absence is heavily, heavily felt in your environment. And then I'm also seeing um, this, you know, selfless, th this really big heart but this also selfless part of yourself where you want to give and give and give where you want to protect other people where you want to kind of like um, shelter somebody okay um, for those of you who are parents or for those of you who have children or you know if you're sharing children with other people or if you're co-parenting if you're stepping into some type of a parental mentor um, even supervisory managerial position, you want to be a little bit careful of this tendency, okay? To want to huddle everybody under your, your reach, to want to control a situation, to want to, you know, protect everybody and, and treat everybody with kitty gloves. Because in that type of environment, people don't really learn, okay? We learn through mistakes, pretty much, okay? And we have to kind of uh, understand that Everybody needs to make mistakes in order for them to learn from it and to not make the same mistakes the next time. So we can't take it upon ourselves to kind of shelter people from the reality of the world and especially shelter people from the elements, 
okay? Because sooner or later, they're going to be exposed to it and they're not going to know how to deal with it because they didn't have to deal with it in the past because you shelter them from all of these problems or, or the, the chaos of the environment. And so you want to be really cognizant of that. Let people kind of live their life and especially make their mistakes, even though it is painful watching, you know, from an outsider's perspective, from, from a space where we've been there, we've done that. And we're trying to um, prevent somebody from, you know, walking down that wrong path. But at the same time, it is their life. It is their karmic destiny. Whatever you want to call it, it, it is something that they have to experience so that they know whether or not uh, they can make the same decision the next time or, you know, learn from it, wisen up and, and make better decisions the next time around. Um, I'm seeing a lot of overprotective, like helicopter parents in particular. Um, I'm seeing people that are, you know, really, really trying to protect their kids. I almost feel like, um, uh, like resurrecting this little bubble, putting your loved ones in there and trying to shelter them, trying to shield them from the truth. I, I also feel shield them from reality, shield them from the truth, shield them from painful situations. So I feel like you might be withholding information. You might be, um, this is also something I feel like Scorpios have a habit of doing. Uh, lying by omission, okay? Half truths, revealing uh, a, a, a certain piece of information, okay? Not revealing the whole story, revealing certain pieces of information in order to get the other person to see a situation a, in a specific light. So you want to be careful about, you know... Um, the, of the tendency to do that and aim to be very, very truthful, completely truthful when it comes to what you reveal to other people, okay? But aside from that, I feel like, you know, the, the image with the hen, it is all about your ability to love, nurture, and protect those around you and kind of like wanting to take on the responsibility of um, like guard, safeguarding them, but also... Um, I almost feel like the being the brunt of the target, so diverting attention away from somebody that you love because you don't want them to have to deal with that stigma or the hardship, okay? Um, there was another image that I saw. Now I can't remember. Um, maybe it'll come back to me. So let me get out three more cards and maybe the other one will come back to me. Oh, okay. So um, I'm seeing some, some. Uh, I'm seeing three women. They're wearing like their little, um, their um, like a, a terry cloth, like a towel. They're it's wrapped under their armpits, you know, around the body, and then they're in the sauna. Okay, so they're in a room. It's a steam room. It's heated. It's foggy, and um, they have like those um, eye masks on their eyes and they're just sitting there letting the, 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 the warm, I guess the warm air kind of uh, uh, soak, soak in the warm air. So what I feel is there is definitely a need for you for like rest and relaxation, for you to really just unwind and kind of uh, let your body heal, okay? So when I saw that second image, um, I had like really bad like um, tension, like um, it, it, it feels like muscle cramps or twitching around the temple area, so the, the head area. So I don't know if you have recently suffered from a situation where you had to do a lot of thinking. It's almost like you're mentally exhausted or you are suffering from some type of a congestion where you know you you can't breathe and it's really affecting your ability to think like not getting enough oxygen and it's really affecting your ability to think you feel groggy you feel like um you feel like you're not able to see clearly because of the fog and then think clearly because of the mental fog as well and because your eyes are, are also covered. So I feel like there is a situation here where you're kind of feeling things out but you feel like you might not have the whole picture 
and it's it's almost like it doesn't really demand your immediate attention so you're waiting for that you're you're waiting for the mist to clear up before you have full information or before you have a full picture of and then decide what to do so i feel like in the meantime you're just waiting for that mist to clear up because you feel like you're lacking information you don't have all the information or somebody might also be withholding the information from you all right last card yeah there's definitely definitely a need for you for some r and r okay and i i especially see like the the mental uh, stimulation being overstimulated or being like uh, so inundated with a lot of uh, mental tasks where you just feel emo uh, like mentally very very drained okay so let me talk about what's coming into the picture so first of all I feel like many of you are in a big position here where you're making important decisions that affect other people okay so we have here the master of your domain. This is the emperor. This is the person that rules their domain. They're in charge. They are a source of authority and many, many people look up to them. Many people admire them. Many people want to be in their shoes, okay? Um, so I feel like your energy is coming out as a major player. So you are somebody that many people come to for advice. You're somebody that they come to when they have a problem, they come to when they need a resolution, when they need uh, some clarity, when they need some type of, of advice, okay? So I definitely feel like you have a very powerful presence about you where you're kind of like the fixer, the advisor, the person that makes a situation very clear for the next person who might be very wobbly, who might be uh, confused about what their course of action is, about what they need to do. So you're bringing in a lot of guidance, a lot of support, and a lot of clarity for another person the emperor is somebody that you know doesn't operate from the realm of uh, emotions they do what's right for everybody involved okay and that can play out in one of two ways you can you know fix other people's problems okay or you can also be in a situation where you want to take on all the responsibilities you want to fix everybody's problems and your our energy our energy in general not just you scorpio our energy is very very finite okay we have a limited amount of energy and we need to devote them the the energy to avenues that are productive and especially in ways that are productive so be careful about not taking so much responsibilities where it disallows the other person to do their fair share of the work in managing and learning about responsibility and I feel like you know this is um, it's not an overbearing type of a situation but I feel like it's right next to the Queen of Coins this is clinging on to a situation very very tightly so it can indicate to me control issues wanting to control a situation wanting things to um, have a very very specific outcome and so you're obsessively monitoring it watching it and like uh, just um, your energy all of your focus is completely immersed in it okay so we have to learn to kind of like be a little bit more open-handed and to kind of let a situation organically kind of unfold, okay? Um, it doesn't indicate to me a bad energy because um, I've mentioned this before. You guys are very, very much about uh, making sacrifices, especially for the people that you love and, and especially when you deem something to be a labor of love, okay? If it's done out of love, you don't care how long it takes. You don't care how much energy you need to exert. You do it because you're, you feel emotionally compelled to do it. But I feel in this situation, um, let people learn to be self-sufficient and let people learn to be independent because they have to walk through you know, their life's journey on their own. And so if you constantly intervene and um, solve their problems for them, it's really not going to help, okay? Um, the, ener the energy of the emperor as well, it's all about truth and honesty. He is a pillar of st uh, strength and stability in an environment. And so what I feel is, 
it's almost like in your home environment, for example, your partner has to consult you. Like, um, can I buy this? Can I buy that? Can we chip in for this? Can we, you know, do we have enough funds for that? So I feel like you're really, really, you know, wearing the pants in, in your relationship. And I feel like it's really, really uh, important to soften up. And it's important to balance out the voice of authority in that relationship. Otherwise, the partner might be in danger of uh, withdrawing love, withdrawing affection, or feeling judged, or feeling like they're inadequate because they have to come to you and ask you for things. So you want to be a little bit careful about the power dynamics in that um relationship okay on the other hand if you're in the work environment and if this energy is shown up in the work environment it's definitely very very good where you are seen as a major a very competent player in the work environment you are also seen as somebody with bright ideas okay this is the ace of wands and this is like new projects new things coming into the picture and people basically seeking you out mainly because they understand your skills and your competencies. And when they want to get something done, they know that you're the person that they can come to to get things rolling and you get them done fast. You're also honest and straightforward. You won't inflate their expenses. You won't uh, sell them things, for example, that, um, that are lemons. You won't lie or cheat them out of a good deal. So I, I definitely feel you're very, very well respected, okay? So if it's showing up in the work environment, it's really, really good. If it's showing up in the relationship uh, situation, we need to learn to kind of balance it out. And I feel like your partner is coming to you a lot for consultation. And especially if they're just like, can I buy this? Like asking your permission. Can, can we buy this? Can we do this? Even though it costs the X amount of money. And I just feel like these should be discussions okay like mutual discussions it shouldn't be one person constantly asking the other person so i feel like there might be some lopsidedness here when it comes to relationships and the balance in who's making the money who's bringing home the money who's using the money for what and who's asking permission to you know that's what i feel like i feel like it's not completely balanced if it's in the relationship front on the other hand, you do have new projects coming in and your financial situation is really going to stabilize, okay? This Queen of Coins energy, new sources of income, new sources of money coming through. Um, the Queen energy, this is a homebody, okay? This is somebody that either works from home or they work in an office and they're, um, they're more like the money manager, the accountant, the people that, you know, the, the human resources people even. So the accountant, the human resources person, the work that you're doing is very, very uh, centered around home decor, home decoration, home renovation. So I feel like you're getting a chunk of money coming through in those avenues. And then I also feel like there is there there will be people seeking you out specifically for your skills. They might have been recommended by other people. And I feel like there's a lot of forward movement and a lot of wins and traction when it comes to your financial situation. So the first four cards to me indicate a lot of uh, successes coming through on the financial front, on the reputation front as well. Okay. We do have as well an air sign that you are dealing with here. And I have here the page of swords and the queen of swords. This to me usually means like if it's a page and then a, um, a female court card, like a mother and child, okay? This could also be a family situation, family members within your home environment, somebody that you might have children with, somebody that you, um, you might have known for a really long time. And so what I'm feeling here is um, I feel like there is some entanglements here, financial entanglements when it comes to mother and child. And if you have custody issues, I feel like some of you are trying to move or trying to leave the geographical location that you're at. We have here the chariot movement, like physical movement, as well as the world, wanting to move to change location, scoping out new territory. 
I feel like there might be some issues when it comes to communication, uh, the give and take, like even child support, um, the, the terms of um, custody as it relates to a child, a child of yours, and the parent of the child, the mother of the child or the father of the child, if you are co-parenting or if you're no longer in the picture, it's like they're geographically here, you're geographically somewhere else, and there's discussions back and forth regarding where do we need to be, who's going to be taking care of this child, who, how many days a week. So I, I do see some rearrangement or some discussions heavily centered around who's taking care of the child, um, what state, what city, and things like that. Those things are all popping up, okay? If you have an air sign that you're dealing with, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, this is somebody I feel, they're a little bit unpredictable, okay? Um, the Page of Swords energy, this is somebody who's like very, very, uh, they're, they're just, I feel like they're very intelligent. They throw a lot of information at you, okay? It's almost like you haven't answered the first question and they're throwing you like five other questions. Their energy can be a little bit uh, overwhelming is what I'm sensing. I feel like you've known this person for quite some time because you've watched them mature from a page of swords to a queen of swords, okay? This is what I call like somebody who might be a little bit up and down, okay? One side she's smiling and then the other side she's like... Um, well, she's not. So one side is like very, very playful. The other side is like very, very stern. One side is very quirky. The other side is just um, normal. So I feel like you're dealing with an air sign and Gemini does come up really strongly in this spread and especially in this card. So Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And once again, this is somebody that is dealing with, we have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords deals with like, frustration, it deals with restless nights, it deals with the lack of sleep. It can also indicate as well, um, they're going through some things that I feel that's making them very inquisitive, that's making them mentally very, very alert. And I feel like they're throwing you a lot of information and you're not really sure as well. You're, you're not really sure how to process or respond to the information that you're getting from them. For some of you, um, I feel like this person is going to be coming to you and bearing, you know, their, their soul. Like they're, they're going to tell you, here's what I'm really struggling with. Here are some of the things that, you know, I'm having problems with. And once again, the tendency is to want to take it upon yourself to solve this person's problems. Okay. But I feel like you have to learn, you know, loving detachment, Scorpios. We have to learn loving detachment. We have to learn to kind of uh, allow them to make their own decisions, to arrive at their own decisions, to do their own things, follow their own decisions so that they can learn from it, okay? It would behoove you to kind of relinquish control in this situation and just let them sort things out. You definitely can give advice. But I feel like overstepping your boundaries and um, even offering so much of yourself in order to fix this, I, I just don't feel like it's a good scent, um, it's, a, it, it's a good use of your energy because this is a very stubborn person. They, they can be a little bit fickle. Today they want to do this, the next day they want to do that. And so if you're expending a lot of energy trying to stabilize this person, you're going to be swept along for the ride and it's, it's going to be a very bumpy, rocky ride. And so you want to be a little bit careful that you're not affected by their energy because they seem to me on very, uh, like very wobbly uh, conditions. And I, I don't feel like their presence is going to be um, good for you as we progress, you know, as we end round out the month. Okay. Let them deal with their situation. They definitely, um, will communicate a lot with you, but I, I feel like they've already, they're a little bit too fickle and too sporadic for you to, um, to be around right now. That's what I'm, I'm getting here. So the major players in this deck, I feel, is um, we have here an Aries. 
Okay, so you have like all elements, okay, but the Aries, there could be a new person that is very established, that's really, um, I feel like they have the hearts for you, okay, carrying a torch, okay, so I feel like you might get some type of an invitation, you might get some news, some, some information, some revelation about how this person feels about you, okay, and then on the other hand, I have this air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, Communication back and forth is fine, but I, I just feel like this is somebody that's going through a lot and they need to kind of sort things out on their own. You have a lot of career things that you really should focus your energy on. On the other hand, I also have as well a uh, Capricorn. So this is the devil energy and the Capricorn energy, it seems to me as if this is somebody that is um, plagued with a lot of issues. So I have here the Nine of Swords. And the Eight of Swords um, surrounding this Capricorn. It's a de-escalation in the sword suit. It's going, um, it's getting less burdensome. But they have a lot of issues, possibly depression, anxiety, uh, disappointment, and things like that that they're dealing with. And so it is in your best interest to, to kind of um, leave this situation alone and, you know, um, once again, I see you wanting to, you know, jump in and wanting to kind of like unglue this person or alleviate the situation for this person. But what I feel is, once again, you know, it's codependent. So you want to make sure the other person is able to take care of things for themselves. Okay? Take care of things for themselves. I'm seeing this Capricorn energy, they might be dealing with some things that's really um, affecting their self-esteem, possibly at work too, because the Nine of Swords is sleepless nights, staying up very, very late, having a lot of worries, and wondering about the trajectory, Eight of Swords, stuck in a rut, wondering about the trajectory of our lives, feeling a little bit tethered to responsibilities and not having free time. So this is a very barren card in this deck. And so I feel like, I, I feel almost like they have some things that, that they themselves need to work out for themselves. Okay. Um, your focus is very much over here and everything over here is just glaringly very, very positive. And I, I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of commute back and forth. There's a lot of opportunities for travel, for movement, for flying here and there. So I do see traveling over uh, through airways, traveling over land. And I just feel like, you know, it's a very dynamic latter part of March 2019 for you guys. And you have a lot of things that you're trying to get accomplished. And you have a lot of like, just, you know, finances really on your mind because it's really starting to kick up. Okay. So many of you might have, um, like recently hit a promotion, for example, or you're, if you're promised a promotion, I definitely see that um, being, being um, it's like if it was promised to you, it's being delivered to you. And then I'm also seeing a lot of new projects that you can do to increase and enhance your income generating opportunity um, potential. So there's a lot of money and that's where you need to focus your energy. Really take care of yourself. I see a lot of sleepless nights, people getting sick, not feeling well, physically feeling under the weather and physically not feeling at your best. So really learn to take it easy. Um, we are headed into the time of Aries. It's the first fire sign. It rules the head. So I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of like um, fevers, headaches, head congestion, sinus congestion, ear aches as well. So, you know, you got to really take care of that part of your body, okay? And that means don't overexert yourself mentally and especially don't let the stress get the best of you, okay? I'm going to leave it at that. I hope the reading is helpful for you guys and... Um, for those who are interested in a reading, uh, I have included a link in the description box below of a psychic. Her name is Bridget. She is based out of California. She's very amazing. Um, I highly recommend that you get a, a reading from her if you're looking for spiritual guidance. Aside from that, I will see you in about a week and a half for your April's reading. Okay, take care of yourself.